Hello again, nice to see you Thursday morning. Here's a question for you. Would you be prepared to give up a day's wages to raise money for nurses? Well, according to our online poll, 60% of you wouldn't. It is the subject of a Channel 4 documentary tonight which asked top footballers to give up their day, their day salary to help nurses in need. That's not to say leaving messages doesn't work. Just ask ex-football pin-up Jamie Redknapp. I had to answer my phone to you because you get about 100 messages. I had to clear the messages. So like Liverpool, you're going to state to Stephen Gerrard and mm -hmm. Jamie Callagher. Who? Like, no. What's his name? I don't know about Jamie Callagher. I'll speak to Jamie Carragher. <laughs> right, don't worry. He only plays for England. <laughs> <laughs> the only way this is going to happen is people helping people to make something happen for people. I mean, what a great story. Great. Perfect. Right, I'm going to play golf. <laughs> well, she's here, uh, the person behind the documentary, economist Dr. Narina Hertz, who clearly doesn't know much about football, <laughs> but knows a lot about the fact that nurses aren't paid that much. What's the average salary for a nurse, Narina? Um, the average salary is about £21,000 a year. And that is the average. That's not only when they've just finished training, that is the average. No, they gra after they graduate, if they get a job, and this year, seven out of ten nurses are graduating with no jobs to go to, yeah. if they get a job, it's around £19,000 which is really tough when you think that most student nurses nowadays are 29 years old yeah. with kids or looking after permanently disabled relatives. So, yeah. And you've had emails from nurses, haven't you? What sort of things can't, I, can't they afford? I've had thousands of emails yeah. from nurses who've been working for 22 years and cannot afford the petrol to drive to work. Yeah. Nurses who can't afford their rent, the, the, couldn't even contemplate buying a house. Yes, yeah. um, child care. I mean, it's... It's a travesty that the people who care for us, each of us, will need a nurse at some point in our lives, yeah. um, are not being cared for. Well, some of us are only here because of the work of nurses. I mean, most of us were delivered by yeah. them. So, yeah, yeah. You know. No, I was a premature baby, so I do owe my life yeah. to the care of nursing. But why did you pick on footballers then? What made you think, or oh, let's fleece them for a bit of money? Do you know what? It wasn't picking on them in like a negative way, like, oh, they're so rich. Because yeah. if it was rich people, I should have gone to those guys in the city who earn like huge fortunes, and I don't even know what they do. Yeah. But um, footballers, you know, respect what they do. They've got huge talent. Um, but I thought if I could get footballers on board, each footballer brings with them a huge fan base, a huge following. You know, they're so revered by millions of people that if they support this cause, well, the profile that they'll bring to it will be huge. So um, I feel like I gave them an opportunity to set aside their kind of image of just being into flash cars and jewellery yeah, yeah. and gave them the opportunity to stand in solidarity with another group. Um, and also, of course, they would have experienced injury themselves. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They've got physios and club doctors yeah. and all that sort of stuff. Because so when, when well I go after. to clubs, and um, you see in the film I go to all these clubs, um, I'd, one of the first questions I'd ask was, has anyone in this room been injured? And like mm. half of them would put up their hands in the last few months and they'd be like, yeah, I have. And have you kept being cared for by nurses? Yeah, yeah. I have. And well, let's have your money then. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get good access? I mean, who, who stumped up? Well, access, oh, as you saw from that clip, I know nothing about football. And I didn't even know one footballer. I mean, I asked Ryan Giggs after he said he'd come on board um, whether he'd then help me with the England team. He plays for <laughs> Wales, yes. Yeah, he plays for Wales. It was so embarrassing. He played for England once. Oh, did he? Yeah, oh, that makes 16. me feel so he much better. That makes 16. me feel so much better. So, um, um, well, I don't want to give it all away, but um, some people were amazingly generous and, you know, really delivered. The Fulhams, and, the Watfords. Yeah, Reading on the spot mm. in the room, like, said, we're coming on board. I mean, that was amazing. Um, some clubs were tougher to get to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I well, don't know who you're talking about. Um, <laughs> yeah, there was one club which we see in the film I really tried very, very, very hard to get to, but and at the was, end of the day, Chelsea. it was Chelsea. Um, at Do you the think end they the might day, not, just, just in their defence, they, they might have thought it was a gimmick, because no, a lot of these television no, programmes are tr yeah. fooling people, tricking them. No, you know, no, they, no they knew it wasn't a gimmick. Oh they dear. said, I mean, I may, at the end they did agree to make a donation to the fund as a club, which I do right. appreciate, but they were the only club that didn't let me present to the players, and that makes me sad, because I'm sure a lot of the players would have wanted to come on board. All right, and the nurses will be getting this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, a hardship fund, to one it's a charity. Um, all registered nurses will be eligible to All apply. right, Narina. Well, let's see what one nurse, not just any old nurse, the nurse of the year, Justine Whitaker. She's uh, from Sladeburn in East Lancashire. Let's see what you think about all this, Justine. Morning.
Good morning. What do you think? Well, I, I think it's it's an excellent opportunity, really, for um, to raise a profile on on a, on what's just historically been a catalogue of constant low pay with nurses. Um, I think you know when you when you look at you look at what patients receive and the care that they're receiving on a daily basis, it's actually very difficult to quantify how much it's worth to somebody. But I really don't think that equally that that's an excuse to sort of abuse that position either. And no. nurses are well known to be um, sort of the lowest paid public sector worker. And I think it's about time that uh, we got on board to recognise this. And I think the work that the footballers have done, because they're high profile in the media, is given us an opportunity to, to take this bull by the horns and, and go for it. Good, so you're happy about that. I know, because we all respect you immensely and we appreciate you, but it, at the end of the day, that doesn't pay your bills, does it, Justin? No, no, and it was interesting the point you made about petrol. It, I work part time and it still costs me £50 a week to go oh. to work. So, oh. you know, that's, you know, £200 out of your wage because petrol allowances don't move up in the NHS mm. like the, um, petrol, the petrol tax that's going on from the government. And that's sort of the, the difference between what we're receiving. I mean, our, our recent pay award was supposed to be 2.5, but because it's being staged, mm. we're actually losing out sort of £574 a year because of that staging, partly paid now, partly paid at the end of the year. And, you know, it's, it's just obscene and, and, and offensive, really. All right, Justine, we all appreciate that and we appreciate you, as I said. So thanks very much for getting up even earlier this morning as well to be with us. And, <laughs> Norina, thank you very much indeed. Oh, Brilliant idea. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. you.